Shalom, this is a new yes from Israel at Hebron Island 2. Today's video is called Bad News, Mexicans and Indians, Fake 12 Tribe Chart. Listen, uh, if you're a subscriber or if you're somebody that watches my channel, you know what I think, what, how I feel in general in regards to my channel. We true physical Israelites we're known to the world as black African-American Negroes, but of course, you know, they like to call us out of our name. They like to give us classifications. When you look into the law, we are not citizens. We're not, we're like no status because we allowed the invaders to name us. We are the true Aboriginal Native Americans. All the maps are wrong. These devils have lied. The heathens have lied about everything. They say this is the new world. No, this is the old world. On this side, the Western area is the old world. The maps are upside down. Do your own research. Those Mexicans that you see in Mexico, uh, Peru, Bolivia, and all those type of Hispanic type of people, which are hybrids, they're, they're mixed. They are a mix of Mongoloid people and Spaniards. And they are the Johnny Come Latelys and the American Indians, the fake American Indians, the Johnny Come Latelys. This whole world was inhabited first by dark race or copper colored race people or the dark races. Not these hyper light dog go horse type here people so what has been hidden is coming to the surface everything that was hidden is coming to the light on some of my, on my old channel I had a lot of Hispanics especially Mexicans would come on my channel like oh you you're just niggers and you're just niggers well if you look at my other video nigger and Indian was one and the same and of course, you know, these, these crazy dudes don't read and study and research history, so they don't know. They say, oh, my grandmother and her grandmother and grandfather was in Mexico, so I'm Mexican. No, you're not. You guys are post, after Columbus. <laughs> Pre-Columbus is all Negroes, which are the true Aboriginal Native Americans. I know slave signs, it didn't say Africans for sale, it said Negro. But it, they really wanted to say Indian, Native American. But, you know, their plot to deceive was like in full swing. So they got to, how you deceive is you throw people off by changing places, names, times, history, etc. Let me get right into this. Bad news, Mexicans and fake Native Americans. Because... Uh, you know, um, the genie is out of the bottle. And you know when a genie comes out of the bottle, you can't put it back. The awakening of the true biblical Israelites is in full swing. And the awakening of the true aboriginal, let me see, aboriginal Native Americans, Mexicans, Brazilians, Peruvians, Guatemalans, Ecuadorians, all the Negroes, which are aboriginal, which are the Hebrew Israelites. Not the mongoloid looking Spaniard types. You guys are Johnny come lately. All right, let's get right into it. In like, listen, uh, the Hebrew is like the Negro, a.k.a. Hebrew is Israelite, a.k.a. Native Aboriginal. We will enjoy this, but you Johnny come lately Mexicans, which are imposters, and uh, you Indians, $5 Indians, and you pretending Indians, this is not going to be, uh, like, enjoyable. That pure water. You know, this video evolved so much over the last couple of months, but I knew I had to be patient. You have a Spanish you know, guy telling me this. I gather this info, which I will pre present it to you. It's been a great journey so far. Dawada Hawa, for sure. I've had to deal with my share of static, of course, and the trolling the harassment but it has only made me more eager to prove what i'm presenting and saying 
from Carlos Cuervo Marquez, 1858 to 1930, ethnologist, botanist, military general, and historian says, says the Negro type is seen in the most ancient Mexican sculpture. The Negroes figure frequently in the most remote traditions of some American pueblos. It is to this race doubtlessly belongs the most ancient skeletons, distinct from the red American race, which have been found in various places from Bolivia to Mexico. It is likely that we repeat America was a Negro continent. Again, we repeat, America was a Negro continent. Carlos Cuervo Marquez from Estudios Arqueológicos y Ethnográficos, Volume 1, Madrid, 1920. So, you know, another correlation here, you know everybody, but we always got static telling us, you can't believe everything you read on the internet, right? So the good thing is, I was actually able to find this book in Spanish, and let's read it together. So uh, this is the cover of the book, uh, Estudios Arqueológicos y Ethnográficos. So let's get right into it. All right, so I went to uh, right to page 23, chapter 5, and it says here, Los Negroides in America, or the Negroes in America. All right, so this is the part that I'm going to translate. So take a look at it. So I, what I did is I copy-pasted this and brought it to Google Translate. All right, let's take a look. So it translates to, it says, several isolated but concordant facts allow us to suppose that before the formation and development of the three great ethnographic groups of which we have just spoken, the Pampas, Indians, and Caribs, a large part of America was occupied by an inferior race of Negroid type. Okay? The conquerors found scattered throughout the New World small tribes that from the first moment were and continuing, this is what I'm going to translate now, continuing. So again, remember we ended up with were, so it's, again, it continues, were considered as belonging to the black race. Such were, for example, the Otomi from Mexico, the snails from Haiti, the Ara Arcajos from Cutara, the Arabos from Orinoco, the Porcejis and the Malayas from Brazil, the Manatos, Quito, the Chuanas, the Darien, etc. And just to finish up, this is the next part that I'm going to translate right here. So you can take a look at it before I take it to Google Translate. And it says, the skeletons of structure that are very different from those of the American red race, which in several parts of the continent have been found from Bolivia to Mexico, must be referred to this race. They're talking about the Negro uh, skeletons they found. Worthy of attention in this regard are the two skulls of exaggerated prognatism with a lowered forehead, very developed apophyses, and strong superciliary arches that in the Sumapaz Mountains found the illustrated Professor Dr. Juan de Dios Carasquilla. So they're referring to uh, another type of skulls, right? Negro skulls being found in Sumapaz, that is Bogota, Colombia, so more correlation, right, of skeletons of Negro type or Australian type, right, copper colored, so-called Negro, all right. Okay, so, <clears throat> as you can see, it's a crazy, she had a mask on, disregard that crazy face, but anyway, as you can see, right, as you can see, they've lied about everything, they have it in all the books, thing is, they know Negroes, aka Israelites, don't got time. They they ain't hearing that. They don't got time for that. <laughs> Not all of us, because a lot of us, we do like to research and read. But they hide it right in the book, because they know you're not going to find that book or know where to 
see that book or read that book. So they're not going to, you know, they're not going to uh, tell you. But I'm telling you here at Hebrew on the Island too, a new Yeshua in Israel. When, when people come to you on the street and just try to say, yeah, hey, uh, you're a Negro or African American, when they already say, well, African American, say, well, I'm not an African American. African American, Negro, Black, and all those stuff is not even in the Constitution. There's no status to that title. You know, all you have to do is look in a black laws diction lawyer's dictionary and look up those words. You're going to see it has no status. You have no rights and stuff like that. We are the, and we're not African. We're the original Aboriginal Native Americans of North, South America, all the Caribbean islands, Peru, Brazil, and Guatemala, Ecuador, all those places, the whole Western Hemisphere. Just like the, the, I'm not going to mention this other thing because I don't want them to uh, block my video worldwide. So I'll just keep my mouth quiet on this. But you know what I'm trying to say. In your personal life, don't let anybody call you that. Tell them, tell them what the deal is and then show them my video and let them research it. We can't tell them who they are. Don't let them tell them. Don't let them tell us who we are. We are the Aboriginal Native American, which are the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. They found more Egyptian and Hebrew artifacts here in the North and South America and Peru and stuff like that than in the fake Middle East Israel location. So, believe what you want, but in my personal life, they try to say you're African American. I, nope. They go, nope. And listen, the 2020, I think, uh, census is coming up. Don't, you know, don't give in to what they want. Don't let them classify you. You can't classify them. Don't let them classify you. When it's time to check off the box, white, black, blue, Asian, Hawaiian, Pacific, whatever. And when it says other, put other than put Aboriginal Native American. And put it in. Don't, don't, don't put what they want. You are the leaders of this world. We are really the true kings and princess, prince and princesses of the world under the most high. That's how he, he, he set it up. We need to take our rightful position. The genie is out of the bottle. It can't be put back in. This truth is revolutionary. They don't want to hear that, but they're going to hear it anyway. This is a new Yeshua Israel and Hebrew on the island too. Until next time, Shalom. I told you, imposter Mexicans and Indians, this was bad news for you.